Hi there, and welcome to the virtual world. Today, you are going to get a taste of what it's like to work on the back of a traffic management vehicle on the motorway. Before we start work, take a look around and familiarize yourself with your surroundings. You are stood on the rear of a vehicle that is used to place and remove traffic management equipment on the motorway so that essential maintenance work can be carried out. We have got just 100 meters of the lane closure left to remove before we pick up the taper equipment and we need you to remove the cones for us. Are you up for it? Good. When you are ready, press and hold the large circular button on the front of your hand controller. You are now standing in the low-level working platform, ready to pick up the cones from next to the live traffic lanes. Before we start, there's a couple of things you need to know. The cones need to be placed on your left-hand side on top of the trunk bed. A silhouette of a cone is visible as guidance to show you where you need to place them. We will remain stationary next to the first two cones so that you can practice picking them up without the vehicle moving. After that, the truck will not stop whilst we collect the rest. Okay then, make sure you are comfortable and let's get started. When the vehicle stops, reach down into the top of the cone with the controller and press the trigger once it touches the cone. Keep the trigger pressed and pick the cone up, placing it on the truck in the correct place. Well done. Let's have one more practice. Okay, great. I think you've got the hang of it. Let's get the rest of this lane closure off the road. On any given night, we've anywhere between one kilometer and five kilometers of lane closure to install and remove. That's a lot of cones and signs to handle. Not only does it need to be done safely, but it needs to be done efficiently too. If you look up at the VMS sign on your right-hand side, you will see how long it took you to pick up those cones in real time and how long it would take you to collect two kilometers of cones in at the same pace. Before we return you to the real world, have a think about what you've just experienced and how immersive it is being in the virtual world. It's almost like you're there in real life, isn't it? You could almost forget that you're actually standing in a nice, warm, safe classroom. Virtual reality experiences like this can be created for any situation or process in any industry you can think of. It's a great way of exposing new workers 
and old to very realistic hazardous situations without the actual hazard being there. They can learn safe ways of working and new processes in the safety of the classroom, where a mistake won't cost them, a colleague, or a member of the public their life. Thank you for your time. You may now return to the real world by removing your headset.